Okay, so we're going to continue on with our comparison between uh, True North decking, Trex, and TimberTech. Um, and we're going to do a little test here. We're going we're gonna to weigh these uh, deck samples. and We're going to submerge them in water uh, for a period of time. And then we're going to weigh them again and see which, which composite deck product may or may not take on more water. We'll be able to tell that by weight. Um, if, the, if the sample gains weight over time submerged in water, that means water's intruding um, and soaking in. And if it weighs the same, then obviously that's not happening. So I've got a little scale here, um, courtesy of my sister. So um, it's set to grams right now. So I'm just gonna weigh this one. So this is the True North sample. Uh, looks like we've got 467 grams. All right, and I'm just making a note of that so that we can compare after, after we're done. And I've just got plain water in this bucket and that True North sample sank right to the bottom. Um, next, I've got this Trex sample. Uh, this is the Trex Transcend line, color Tiki Torch. Uh, looks like we're at 325 grams to start with. It's a little bit shorter of a sample than the True North one. It's about two thirds of the length. Uh, I'm gonna set this in here as well. Um, that one sank in there all right. And then I've got a TimberTech sample. Um, so this is TimberTech Classic Collection. Um, this sample came, came from uh, one of the home improvement stores nearby. So it looks like 312, 312 grams. And uh, all three of them sank down in there in the water. We're gonna leave these set for a few days and then we're gonna come back and like I said, we're gonna weigh the samples and, and see uh, which one of these takes on, takes on water. Again, we've got True North, TimberTech, and Trek samples in, in the water. So we'll see what happens. Good morning, we're back here after a week. Um, so last week we took three composite deck samples and we put them in this bucket of water. They've been submerged for a full seven days. Um, and what we're doing is we're taking three different brands of composite samples and we're seeing which one soaks in more water. So the way we're doing that is last week we weighed our samples uh, when they were dry and then we submerged them. And now we're gonna weigh them again and see which one had the highest uh, weight gain. And that's gonna tell us which sample soaked in more water. Um, so We've never done this before, so this is kind of a new, a new test uh, that we're trying out just to see. But uh, we're going to start with the True North sample. That's the first one that we weighed last week. Um, so I'm just going to shake each sample off so there's not like a bunch of extra water sitting on top. And then uh, I'm going to put it on our scale here. This one last week weighed 467 grams. Um, so now it weighs 484. Just set that here and then I'm just going to wipe the scale off uh, between each, each sample. Um, make sure we don't have a bunch of extra water on there. Um, next we're going to weigh the TimberTech sample. This one was the lightest to start with. It weighed 312 grams. Um, now it weighs 318. So the True North sample had gained um, almost 20 grams, 17 grams, and that TimberTech sample only gained six grams. So that's, that's quite a difference. And then we've got the Trek sample. Um, this one last week weighed 325 grams. Uh, now it weighs 333. So that one's gained about eight grams. So we'll set these to the side here. So to recap that, the True North sample weighed 467 grams and it gained 17 grams and now weighs 484. So this one definitely soaked in the most water. Um, TimberTech and Trex were pretty close on the amounts that they gained. Um, but to be completely fair in our comparison, I think we need to do this on a percentage basis. Um, so we're gonna take the 484 minus 467 um, so the 17 grams that the True North sample gained, we're going to divide that over the original weight. 
uh, gives us a 3.64% of weight gain uh, from the water. The timber tech sample gained six grams, so we're gonna divide that by the original 312. Uh, that gives us a 1.92 percentage of weight gain. And then the Trek sample, uh, let's see, that one gained eight grams divided by the original 325. Uh, so that one gained 2.4. So like I said, we didn't really know what to expect from this test. Um, the Timber Tech was definitely the higher performer. And really, I think, I think the difference uh, between the Timber Tech and the Trex is the Timber Tech is coated on four sides and the Trex is coated on three. Um, so it's just got more surface area to take in water. Really percentage wise, they were, they were both pretty close to each other. And to be fair to all three companies, uh, composite decking is not meant to sit in the water for an extended period of time. It's meant to shed the water. We just wanted to see how they would behave exposed to water for an extended period of time. I hope this helps you with your decision-making process of what kind of product you would like on your deck at your house. Thank you.